The law of the rubber band says that growth stops when you lose the tension between where you are and where you could be. And this is an important law because tension, what that tension does, what, what Maxwell means by this is that pull, that pull outside of your comfort zone, that pull beyond where you currently are, that pull that draws you out of complacency into life. Uh, the person who's not growing, the person who is complacent, is the person who is going to be innately discontent. There's, there's no adventure. There's nothing, there's no excitement. There's nothing really exciting in the place of, of complacency. I mean, you can still, you know, watch YouTube videos all day and, and you can still get some dopamine hits, but there's not going to be that true sense of satisfaction. That comes from hard work, from that tension that pulls you out of your comfort zone. Viktor Frankl, who is a man who every chance I get, I'm gonna quote him because of his amazing story. A psychiatrist who was a Jew who got sent to the concentration camps in World War II. And, and he found that having a worthwhile goal, here's what he said, tension, striving and struggling for a worthwhile goal is positive. Trying to close the gap between what one is and what one should become. And so he was telling a story of two different prisoners in the camps who wanted to commit suicide. And the reason was, is because in their words, they had nothing left to expect from life. And as he got into the conversation with them, as he questioned them with his knowledge and understanding, each one of them did have something to look forward to. For the one, it was a completion of a, a set of encyclopedias, a set of knowledge that only him and his expertise could offer. The other one, it was his daughter, who was in America and who was graduating university, who he wanted to see. And But the point is, as vastly different as their goals were, that they were worthwhile goals that were, that were that gave them a meaning to stay here. Not that they expected something of life, but life expected something of them. And so that rubber band, that tension that pulled them forward. So then they didn't commit suicide that day because they had something that they were looking forward to. And so if that was true in a concentration camp, how much true is it also in life, in your personal growth? If you wanna do something meaningful, if you wanna live a life that's meaningful, follow that tension and follow the law of the rubber band. Thank you.